I like the message behind that as well because it, there's some truth to it. You know, some non-black people, there are some non-black people who will um, try to be part of the culture or act black or what, or what have you only when it's beneficial to them. In this case, they're trying to act black so they can get their college tuition paid for. Hey, what's going on folks? Yes, sorry for the late entry, but you know I gotta talk about Atlanta. If this is your first time here, please hit that like and subscribe button. And for those who've been here before, I appreciate you returning. And let's get it going, man. Um, first off, before I get into it, I'll definitely wanna say, um, hey, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. Um, I didn't always agree with some of you know, some of the things he said, you know, some of his approach was kind of harsh, but I, I would never necessarily celebrate someone's death, especially if they're not like a terrorist or anything. Um, so yeah, I just want to get that out, get that out the way. So that was kind of, yeah, I, I guess it was kind of sad, you know, um, that type of timing, you know, you know, he dies a week before his episode comes out with Atlanta and nevertheless, um, I thought it was kind of tasteless for some people to to, to talk about a, a dead man, no matter what you thought about him. Um, more specifically, what's his name? I think uh, Pastor Jamal Bryant. That was definitely top of kind of tasteless. Um, one of my uh, favorite uh, comedians as of, as of late, um, or new favorite up and coming comedians, however you want to word it. Uh, Laval Walker has a great piece on. Uh, Kevin Samuels being talked about by Pastor Jamal Bryant. Uh, I'll put it up in, in the video cards when I watch it. Nevertheless, let's get right into it, man. Um, I thought this episode was yet again funny. Uh, this is written and directed by Donald Glover. And once again, I, I know I said it on one of the other standalone episodes, uh, this was definitely one of those uh, episodes that sound like it could have easily been like a comedy bit from, a, from somebody, you know, like I said. Um, it doesn't surprise me because I know Donald Glover, uh, was, you know, had fluttered around with a stand-up comedy career, which was pretty funny, um, kind of dark at times with some of the punchlines, but overall funny. So this definitely sounded like, you know, something from the mind of Donald Glover that could have easily been said, um, as a stand-up bit. So, you know, Kevin Samuels plays, um, like um, a billionaire by the name of Robert S. Lee, I believe it was. And he comes to uh, his um, alma mater high school or his, the high school that he um, grew up, you know, had his high school career in. And, nev and nevertheless, uh, has a special announcement that he wants to pay for the tuition of all the high school seniors going into college, but only for black people. That pause and that, you know, and, th and that punchline was hilarious to me. And once again, this whole episode definitely just sounded like uh, a massively done comedy s either skit. Like you, you could maybe, maybe not sound like live. I don't know if they would do something like that, but maybe like a, a mad TV back in the day would have done something like that, you know, something of that nature. Um, but nevertheless, uh, it, it also follows uh, our main character by the name of Aaron who wants to go to college doesn't have the money to pay for it. He's mixed, has a black father who is definitely not um, helping him out with college. He lets him know like, look, if you ain't save up, hey, I don't know what to tell you because if you stay here uh, after 18, you paying rent. So that whole thing was just funny, man. Um, definitely funny. And, and also shout out to the legendary George Wallace, uh, legendary comedian. He was, I guess, one of the homeboys or, or like, I'm not sure if he was like a family member or a friend but he was definitely tight with Kevin Samuels in this episode. Um, I just thought the whole thing was, was funny and, and deep, which, you know, can be like most, um, most Atlanta episodes. Um, you know, you, you know what you get with an Atlanta episode. It's kind of like a little roller coaster, but, uh, so nevertheless, he definitely makes that, um, you know, statement. And also, you know, let me rewind it a little bit as well. I also, you also see two sides of um, 
of Aaron. Uh, of course, um, he although he's mixed, he definitely can play on his white side in a sense. Um, when he's playing, what is it, Call of Duty? Um, yeah, I want to say it was Call of Duty, Ghost Recon, one of those shoot 'em up games. Um, which is one reason why I don't do the online gaming. I people, in my opinion, take online gaming a little too serious for me with the trash talking. So I can't do it. Uh, I remember playing uh, NBA 2K one time and not the best NBA 2K player, but folks was mad at me like we playing ball for real. Like if I miss an assignment or whatever the case is, like they, they mad at me like we playing pickup game for money or some shit. Nevertheless, um, that was definitely a, me, a sidebar. But uh, he's playing, you know, Call of Duty or whatnot. You know, there's a little bit of uh, insults going back and forth. Aaron goes right into his into his white side by, you know, calling them niggers and saying they need to get a banana and stuff like that. And then he immediately gets off, you know, signs out. And so you got a lot of people who talk big noise, you know, in a safe location, whether it's online gaming, social media, all that type of stuff. But as I mentioned, he definitely was on his white side by using racial slurs, although he's mixed and has a, a, a black father. So as I mentioned, I had to just rewind a little bit there. Um, so, so yeah, the part that had me laughing was after the, uh, Kevin Samuels announcement, announcement, who is playing Robert Lee, you know, he definitely changed the name of the school. And I think the bigger punchline, um, outside of just paying the tuition for black students only, the bigger punchline was the auditions to see who's actually black or not. So that kind of just took a, a step further. It was like, yeah, you might have the same skin color, but you know, you may not be black. And so just the, the audition or the test or the questions that people had to answer or that Aaron had to answer was hilarious. And shoot, even the white people, Indian, you know, Hispanic, everyone is trying to be black. They're trying their hardest to be black, man. It's, you know, the part that had me laughing the most is like, you got like, a, I think it was like four white kids trying to sing um, the famous uh, Shy song. If I ever fall in love, I'm not gonna embarrass myself and sing because I can't sing, unless it's karaoke night and I and I'm meant to embarrass myself. But you got white kids trying to sing "If I Ever Fall in Love" by Shy. You know, you got white kids walking around with do rags. You got people, you know, trying to play basketball. They trying to do whatever they can to to prove some type of blackness is in their family so they can pay for college. I mean, get their college paid for. And um, I just thought it was. Very funny, very funny stuff. Just, just the tip, just the twists and turns that Atlanta can take you. So, uh, just because you're black doesn't mean you're black. Uh, was one of the messages that that you uh, received. And so, uh, nevertheless, Aaron goes in here and he's asked, you know, some of the stereotypical black questions. You know, what are some things you put in Hennessy? Name five things you put in Hennessy. How long do you keep this chicken on the stove? Um, which cover do you like more, Will and Jada or Bobby and Whitney? You know, what broke the temptations up? Just hilarious stuff. Uh, and then uh, Aaron fails this miserably from, from the montage they show. And of course, George Wallace has an out, out, outbreak of, you know, just uh, outburst of just letting him know, man, you're white. You always going to be white. You ain't black. You ain't got no black bone in your body. Just disrespecting dude, man. Um, so I thought that was hilarious, man. Um, you know, and, and I ain't going to front. I mean, some of those questions, I might have failed my damn self. And, I, you know, of course, I could consider myself black. I got two black parents. You know, I, I always applaud. You know, I, I'm. hey, you, you can't tell me I'm not black. That's all I can say. Um, but some of those questions, I might have failed. Like, you know... I don't know how long you cook ch put chicken on the stove. I know how to cook, but whatever the case is. But nevertheless, it was a funny twist, a uh, funny punchline with that. And uh, I thought the, the 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 bigger message was also um, when to, you know, it got to the point to where Aaron, you know, was so upset he wanted to burn down the school. And I think the bigger message was uh, a, a black person met him at the same time who also wanted to burn down the school, and. Once again, just this clear as day. Um, I believe he said he's from, he had he was from Africa, you know, from like Nigeria to be more specific. And for have them call, you know, say that he's not black, 
I'm sure that had to be hurtful. And so I think that was even um, like the bigger message. Uh, you know, if um, if I'm not mistaken, you know, this is just me speculating or whatnot. Or whatnot. I'm pretty sure uh, this episode was written and directed by Donald Glover because maybe this issue has hit Donald Glover in a personal sense. I'm sure um, by the way he carries himself or maybe the way he dresses or whatever the case is, I'm sure there's been a number of folks who considered Donald Glover not black, not black, even though his, you know, his skin complexion says otherwise. Um, he, even though if he got pulled over by the clops and he wasn't a celebrity, yeah, he, who knows how he would be treated? Well, you have a good idea how he'd be treated. But um, so I, I think that episode may have hit um, Donald Glover partially because I'm sure he's experienced that before. And nevertheless, uh, Aaron meets uh, meets Felix at the school, and although he's uh, Nigerian, and but he, I believe it was he doesn't necessarily um, goes back to his roots, or you know has a lot of knowledge from his natural roots. That was one of the things that made him not black. And who knows? I'm sure maybe he failed the the black question test um, just as uh, horribly as uh, as Aaron did. Uh, so they get into literally like a call of duty in real life, just like a literally a firefight. They both built flamethrowers and they're trying to kill each other. Felix got the drop on him, almost had him, and then he gets shot. Uh, now, what I did think, I, I did think that maybe um, I didn't I didn't see uh, Aaron going, you know, being put in the back of the police car. I thought he was going to play victim, go back on his white card try to lie about the whole flamethrower thing because he did throw it away. He did throw it away while running away from, from Felix, the, um, the, the black guy who wanted to burn the school down. So I thought maybe he was going to play victim and, and lean more towards his white side just so he wouldn't be put in the back of the, uh, police car. Um, and another twist, uh, once again, Atlanta is known for giving you some, some, some good twists and turns, you know, um, Robert Lee or Kevin Samuels comes out, finds out that his school got burned. And when he finds out that it was a black kid who wanted to burn the school and he got shot by the police first, um, questions asked second, he ends up giving the black kid the scholarship. Aaron is in the back of the police car and is hauled off to jail. And we see him a year later after he broke up with his girlfriend and all that other stuff. We see him leaning hard on the black side now you know flirting with black women he he has a part he's you know brushing his hair you know he got the low cut you know he you know he, he's i guess trying to embrace some type of you know blackness or whatever and so i thought that was a, a funny twist at the end he meets his ex-girlfriend ex-girlfriend is all of a sudden even more turned on even though they had two completely different paths just thought it was a, a cool episode and and actually, that was one of the things as well. I mean, it was almost like his girl, ex-girlfriend liked black men all along. I mean, he, she clearly, from the looks of it, left uh, Aaron for a black guy, especially once she saw the writings on the wall that he wasn't going to Arizona um, State. Um, and, um, and, and she's openly talking back and forth with black people online or, you know, these, you know, athletic black men online. So you know what time it is. She's probably about to go Hey, I'm about to go ahead and do my do my bachelorette thing without homeboy, going to college, all that type of stuff. But funny episode overall, man. Um, I did like the deep messages um, behind it, and in my opinion, that's the thing. Um, what I took from it was, although this was supposed to be some you know satire, you know, funny stuff here and there, um, that is one thing I did find uh, interesting. It's like you can't let <clears throat> people determine you know, your blackness, you know, no matter how you carry yourself, that's what it is. Um, and I think that was actually more so saw in somebody like Felix than Aaron, you know, yeah, I, I'm, I'm Nigerian. I'm, I'm full fledged black, but you know, you're going to tell me that I'm not black because I can't answer these black questions and stuff like that. And people have been getting, people have gotten killed online, uh, for, for stupid stuff like that. Like, oh, if you haven't seen this movie, then you're not black. Or if you don't know this, then you're not black. And so I thought that was just almost like that. I think that episode was almost like putting a mirror to to certain people and just like, look at yourselves. How, how are you judging other people for 
you know, for their level of blackness, just because of the way they carry themselves or the way they talk, or just because they may not know certain things about, you know, within the black culture. Um, I'm see if I can find it, and if I do, I'll definitely put put a link in the uh, video. But I think like Issa Rae has commented that people felt like that she talked white, or maybe she wasn't black enough. So I'm sure, you know, Donald Glover hasn't been the only one who, who's gone through stuff like that. And I thought that's why the episode was kind of genius. Um, but nevertheless, man, um, as I said in the beginning of the video, rest in peace to Kevin Samuels. I know I'm a week late with that. Um, but as I mentioned, um, I do find it nasty to, to, to celebrate um, a, a, a YouTuber's death in this case. You know, it's not like he, to my knowledge, it's not like he was raping people. It's not like he was a pedophile, to, to my knowledge. You know, it's not like he, you know, he did these nasty things. It's like you, you're celebrating someone's death just because they gave harsh opinions about black women and and also black men as well. Let's let's not get 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 that twisted. And once again, this is a show that no one was forced to watch. This, you know, you know, just like so many options with streaming channels and TV, you don't have to watch certain things. No one told you to watch Kevin Samuels. You you can easily just mute mute him if you didn't agree with his opinion. But nevertheless, that's me on another rant. This has been another episode of Just My Opinion with Ryan and Love It or Hate It. That's just my opinion. Peace.